about now being extensive for more initiatives for even middle class people? There are parties in favelas, there are hostels, hotels in favelas. Rest, a good restaurant in Lemmy that was in the New York Times I, I went to, exactly. Do yeah. you, do, how do you, I mean, I've talked to some people about you, I don't know if they're objective. Some people call you an entrepreneur, some people call you a social mover and shaker, other people call you an opportunist. Um, what do you, how do you what do you say to detractors what do you say to people who support you what are you trying to do of anything yeah there are people who say good and bad things about the tour or myself i know uh, i honestly i don't care much about the opinion who never did the tour uh, the people who, who, who judge the tour from a distance some people they say good things some people they say bad things but they have never did the tour itself so my my what what matters for me is the opinion of the people who did the tour so they will know how the tour is like mm -hmm. instead of staying away believe oh this guy is opportunity because he's making money out of poverty but they don't know what is all involved and so criticism is easy once you, you make critics on what something you don't know you just guess uh, about how it would be like but you don't know how things really are like mm -hmm. So I, I wonder, I, I worry about the opinion of the people who did the tour. The tour. You mm. want to read that? Quickly though, what's your, what's your typical day like? What, do people, what, people, what would people not expect that you'd have to do during your day running a business? I mean, do it, doing uh, on, on, the, on the favela tour, yeah. how is it like? You're run, running your business actually. Well, now, now I stay, I, I, I became more uh, a guy on the backstage more than doing tours. I still do tours. I make like four to five tours every month, mm -hmm. about. No matter, we have a lot more groups than that. But on the beginning, it was only myself, my car, my phone, and wow. doing everything. Now I stay more on the on the office, uh, making other things uh, like uh, phones, emails, you're and you're well, a team. Yeah, more managing the mm -hmm. stuff. The team, we are all together like 16 people on the on the team. Mm -hmm. What do you and look for in your team though? What kind of person would thrive in your workplace? What kind of person are you looking for? To work, first of all, someone that speaks languages, have a cultural baggage, someone that have traveled. I mean, you, you're not uh, very prepared to talk about, about Brazilian society if you don't know how to compare Brazilian society to other societies. So you need, I expect, someone that have traveled or maybe lived a little bit abroad to know how it's going to be things outside to compare a house outside to Brazil. Because the tour is not much a tour to be talking about favelas only, but to, talk, to contextualize favelas into Brazilian society. So, to explain more about uh, the, the structure of Brazilian society. But you have to know that, knowing how to compare to other societies or to compare to the, the average European person who come, average American person, to compare and to show the differences. Basically, this is the top uh, necessity, speaking languages and cultural uh, baggage experience. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And secondly, you cannot be a narrow-minded person. I mean, you cannot be an ultra-right uh, person. You're more like, more leftist people are, are for this tour, you know, as well as my team, you know, uh, the, 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 the guides I'm looking for my team. Well, Marcelo Armstrong, well, I want to thank you very much, uh, and you're giving me a little tour right now. This is Adam Bierman, Princeton TV.